Hey guys, Larson here. Um, I decided to make a video because Peace to you. two days ago, oh, it's three now because I slept. Um, I thought it would be fun to see how much time it's going to take me to farm a mirror and how many mirrors can I farm in a week. And day one, I think the profits were like, I don't know, it was like 50 or 60 exalts. So it was like it was 40 to 60 and it wasn't anything super crazy. But then I slept on it and that's when, you know, everything started to align but um i'll start by saying how i got into farming what i'm farming and um kind of how it happened right you know there's a brand new leak um last week i could just farm canyons in waldo all league and duplicate money i could go to lake Jaris, farm burials with delhi get lots of doctors and all that stuff and that was taken away from us and yeah there was a few things that i knew that i wanted i looked at these trees here right um, you definitely want the passive Atlas tree. So I thought coming into this league, Hamlet looked like fun because of Harvest and Ritual. One thing that I think people might be sleeping on is Ritual Vessels is literally printing money. One Ritual Vessel is worth 37 plus chaos in not bulk sell, if you bulk sell probably more. Every time you get a Ritual encounter, you usually get at least 50 Ritual Spenders. So every time you have a Ritual, you make at least 20c if you just click the Spenders. And then all the other things, right? Uh, that is extremely, extremely good. Um, but that's just the beginning, right? Uh, I decided I also wanted to learn harvest crafting to be profitable. I, I thought I've always been shit at crafting. I'm the kind of guy who will make currency and just buy whatever items I want. And I'll say I also want harvest craft item, but I've learned how to harvest for profit. And I'll show you guys that as well. And the last thing to do coming into this was like i wanted to play maps that i liked so in hamlet i have favored atoll and cemetery atoll has a badass layout cemetery has a badass layout plus brother stats div card it's a five exalted div card lexi joris is uh, beach i think beach is by far the best tier 16 map in the game it's really really good xp it's fun to run and you know there's lots of monsters so you drop uh, currencies and maps and it's really good and it also has burial champions which is a natural tier 16 map which means if you have tier 16 maps that you don't want to run, let's say a uh, hate excavation, you can take your horizon orbs and you can use all the tier 16 maps that are excess you don't run and turn them into burial chambers. And I think burial chambers is the only good natural tier 16 map you can horizon orb into. And for what does rest, I'm running canyon. Canyon, I don't know. If you don't like, if you, you haven't gotten into canyon, it's the best map. So I knew I wanted to play these maps and. If you play these maps, you have to think about how do you make it profitable. All right. Metamorphs is literally duplicating money. One Metamorph Scarif costs about 6 to 7c. I run polished ones. And on average, per map in this zone, I make 30 to 40c per map just by killing my Metamorphs. And when you get an extra one and you get some Catalyst or some Scarabs, it's even more. In Waldo, it's maybe 20c per map. But it's a little bit worse in Waldo than in the Joris, but... June makes up for the model, but let's just take one zone at a time and what I do. The very first thing I focus on in my league is to unlock all the passives there is on the tree, right? But the most important ones, I think, is you go over here and you get more missions from Sana. So when she has double the amount of missions, you have a bigger chance when you go into a map with your Sana map missions, get Harvest, you get Elder Shaper Guardians, or Delivery Mirrors. My priority is one, Harvest. Harvest is big fucking money. Don't sleep on it. And I'll show you how. Two Delirium Mirrors is really good. Because if you drop a Cluster Jewel, some of them can be worth up to Exalted Orbs. If you drop Delirium Orbs, they're right now 40 to 60c per Delirium Orb. And the Splinters is, you know, almost 1k per Splinter. So if you drop 20 Splinters and a Delirium Orb, you make 60c just by doing a Crypt Map with a Delirium Mirror. So that's that's my presentation with Sana Mission. That's really, really good. I think a lot of people sleep on the Awakener shit here, but when I do Cyrus Aid, he does nothing. When I give him more chance for Awakener gems and plus one Awakening level, my Cyrus loot this league is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know what to say. People sleep on it. For me, it's been really, really good. And the last three I have is just close allies, which is more master missions. I really like running these two master missions. All right, now Harvest. You might think... I hate harvest. I don't really know how to go about it. Well, it's actually really, really, really simple. And I'll do my best to explain it. But first, I'll show you in-game quickly what I do to make profits. I have large cluster jewels, 
with eight passive skills and they have to be eye level 68 um yep i have one for increased lightning damage i have one for increased minion damage i have one for increased cold damage and one for increased fire damage so the three elementals and minion damage for lightning you reforge lightning cold cold fire fire minion you put life on and for physical reforges you do an explodey test or you do an 85 crusader chest that can be any base but if you reforge physical and you hit tier one explode they instantly sell for four to five exalted orbs for chaos and speed i haven't hit anything super good but you can do hunter amulets or boots however you like the ones i mentioned now lightning life cold fire fist are the big money i can share an example just before i made this video i went into a map and i made one with lightning that has disorienting display tentilling idea and storm drinker and if you hit three good mods you instantly make about 10 exalted orbs um i'm gonna go ahead and open craft of exile to kind of give you the rundown on how these cluster jewels work if you might be confused uh, it's pretty simple so if i go to lightning damage if you look here on the suffixes Hysterious, Disorienting, Display, Darianus Lesson, and Widespread Destruction. And then all the Lightning ones, right? So for prefixes, if you hit two good prefixes and one good suffix, you minimum usually make about 5 Exalted Orbs, so they go up to 10 or 15. Now that was Lightning, right? Let's just make it really transparent and do one with Cold as well. So we go to the start, we go to Cluster Jewels, we go to Large Cluster Jewels, and you can take fire damage now. Look here in the suffixes. It's disorienting to play those Janus lesson and widespread destruction. And then you have all the fire suffixes. So if you have a fire jewel, you hit two good fire suff or two good fire prefixes and one good suffix. That's money. It's that simple. All you need to know to run harvest is have one for each element. For your life heroes, you have a minion cluster, and for chest, you do a physical. And if you make them tier one explode, it's big money. It's it's uh, it doesn't require much thinking, right? You just need to find a jewel that has... Oh, it has three lines. Is it three good lines? You're in the fucking money. Is it three okay lines? All right, you still make, you know, four to six exalt drops in average. That's Harvest and Hamlin and uh, map missions. Now, Lexi Joris. The metamorphs are insane. And I sh you just have to try and run it. If you run metamorphs with these, and all I do is have a polished scarab. I run with polished metamorph scarabs. I buy them in big bulks. Whenever you kill them, they shit out Catalyst. And as we speak right now, Prismatic Catalyst, they're 8 to 9c a pop. But this is selling solo. If you bulk sell, you can sell them for a little bit more. Fertiles are a little over 10. And a lot of these are just 1 to 2c. And the best thing about what I think minimal is when you sell them, people buy them in 10s and 20s. So if I can make 600 Catalyst in a day, it takes me less than half an hour to sell them. Because they're really, really easy to sell and they sell out fast. It doesn't take a lot of effort to click up. You run a map, you kill the metamorph in the end, it shits out loot. You don't have to run across the entire screen to pick up splinters, blah, blah, blah. It's really easy to kill, really easy to loot, really easy to sell, and it's big fucking money. I love it. And I tried to do Pirandus over here, and I've been running with uh, cheap Pirandus Scarabs. I made profits, I think, in about 100 Scarabs. I picked up 5 Exalted Orbs and maybe 15 in total of enlightened, empower, and enhanced level threes that and then corrupt and get lucky and some level fours. So I profited, but it's very shit compared to last league. You can do it. I did it. Uh, I made profits, but if I were to do this again and do some more testing, I'm gonna try to pick the two delirium notes over Pirandus. But as we speak right now, I still have Pirandus here. I'm support a lot because I like to pull tech and these were like one CAPs. But I don't think Pirandus. I made profits, but. Could I make more profits if I took the delirium notes? Maybe. Now, Waldo. Again, you run metamorph scarabs, but what is crazy here? It might blow your mind. I didn't know this, but keep your eyes shut. With the recent changes in 3.14, now my safe house looks like poop. But if you put people in intervention going into a mastermind. And they're rank 3. They drop winged scarabs. Let me just pull up the prices of winged scarabs real quick. Um, scarabs are down here. You make 60 C's. 50, 60, 50, 50, 50. And if you're lucky, you're going to have 4 or 5 in these, right? So you make... 
at least 200 C per mastermind just by wing scarabs. But they also drop gilded scarabs and then they also sometimes are polished. They drop up to 2 to 3 to 4 scarabs. So in average, if you set up a good intervention for your mastermind, you can make up to 2.5, 3 exalts just from scarabs, right? Then there's the mastermind drop. If she drops a staff or a flask and you get some good rolls, it's multiple exalt drops. Now, on top of that, there's more. If you get a luck, rank 3 in either... I have a cheat sheet here to help you talk about it. If you get Hillock rank 3 on fortification or on transport for 30% armor weapon, you can go to the TFT Discord, the Forbidden Trove. This is like a global chat. So if you're using Global 820 in the chat in the past, don't. You can go here, and if I wanted to sell, for example, Hillock 30% armor, um, they sell for 1x, 1x, you know. So if you get a Hillock armor, it's 1x all up. If you get Borichi white sockets, it's a 30 or 40 super white socket. And, you know, that's more money. Then, on top of that, if you don't have any Illug, any Verici, as long as you go into Mastermind and you kill Mastermind, there is a challenge in the endgame grinds this league where you need 20 Mastermind kills. You can kill her, and before you talk to her, you go into the Discord, you go into Want to Sell Challenges, Want to Sell a Mastermind kill, you can get 5 people in your party and they'll pay you the price, which is usually 30 to 40 C per portal. Just for you clicking the mastermind after you killed her to then get completion in the kill. So now we're talking a minimum of 5x40c, which I don't want to do math, but that's 200c, plus 300c from the scarabs, plus the drops you get from the safe houses running the mastermind, plus all the looters inside the things, right? And when you run intervention in Waldo, though, you get these safe houses. I can get them in average 7 to 8 missions or 7 to 8 maps between per safe house. So as long as you have intervention mastermind missions, you can literally print out money. But wait, there's more. This might not be for everyone, but if you have a strong ass build and you're a badass gamer, there's a challenge that I'm pretty blind with this, but we need to de de defeat betrayal targets. Here. So there's another challenge. If you have a rank 3 captain, captain means they're rank 3, so if you have your investigation, your guy here, here, here is rank 3. There's a challenge to kill them. Now, if you have two or three of these guys, rank 3, you can sell that challenge on top of the mastermind challenge for one exalt or two exalts per slot, depending on how many leaders you have. The catch here is they need to be inside when you start the encounters. You, you need to be able to kill mastermind with, you know, three player or four player, five player HP without dying, depending on how many portals you need to do it. But if you have a strong build, you can ask people to pay you 5 exalts to enter your map while you, you know, or get your 4 exalted orbs on top of all we just discussed. Just to enter the map while you kill it. Waldo is absolutely insane for money. As long as you have Dune Master missions, you can make money. And I didn't do this day 1, but the reason why I made so much money on day 2 is because of the watchstones, right? I've talked about watchstones I'm running. In each and every zone, I have these watchstones here. That says, Master Missions from Completing Maps have a chance to be June. Uh, here, June. Uh, here, June. So, uh, I have a lot of them here. Next to Joris, I have Metamorph, Rewards, Tula, and two June missions. So, I have two times, well, I have one June, two times Metamorph, and one thing. I want to change this out for June, but I suck. And same here, I have two with Metamorph, one June, one Metamorph, one June. My metamorph. So I tried the three zones are running. I tried to probably get my June missions. And you can just run this. And you can literally print out money. It's insane. Um, I'm trying to think. What else do I need to touch here? I, th I think that's it. I think that's it. That's all I really do. There's one more thing. One just last thing. I do not roll my maps hard my at all. Breath. Let me just. Um, needs to just I can go. But let me put these on the side. And I can show you how I roll my maps. That's. There's no juice at all required. I'm just going to take out some city scraps because I'll probably run in. Uh, I'll run a line of these. So I'll put in my city scraps in a nice line here. It looks great. And the reason why I do that is then it's easy to add scarabs. And I like to make as many maps as possible in a row, right? It's in this tab. So I just put in the scarabs. And if I had more maps, I would do one more line of maps. And one more line of scarabs. One more line of maps. One more line of scarabs. But... That defeats the point. And all I really do is take some chisels, some elks, and some chaos. 
I make sure everything is 20 quality. So boom, I type in 20. I suck at rolling maps. That one I fucked up a little bit. But you get the point. I just want to do this fast. I put um, quality on my maps. I alt them up. And since I'm a spell build, there's a, a few things I don't want to do. I don't want to do no region. So I would roll over this map, but now it's magic and I'm trying to do this fast. Then I don't do reflect illa. I type in re wait. I used to do reflect illa. I make sure I roll over that. Done. And then avoiding elements is bad because I'm exploding things with storm gifts and imposter. Um this thing doesn't have chance to invite elements, so these maps are good. This is literally what I'll run. I won't look at the map mods a second time. I will just put my scarabs with my maps. And I will put sextons in the zone that I'm running. I'm using awakened sextons. But you can get away with using any sextons. I think it's always good to put sextons on your map. It just gives you more XP. Gives you more map sustain. Etc. 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 And that is how. In the life, in span of two days. I found the mirror. By doing these three zones. And these simple things, harvest crafting, metamorph, and getting scarabs and selling challenges from the mastermind. Now, to quickly round things out, I do stream on Twitch, twitchtv.rasen. You can go in there, you can ask any questions you have to my build, or my uh, strategy of making money. I have a Discord, discord.gg slash rasen. You can go in there and ask a question if you don't want to watch the stream and you still have something to be answered. Go in there, you can write to me, you can write in the channels. And I will also leave a link in the description to my profile if you want to check out my characters. This week I have a Stormbrand Assassin. That's super fast. And an Elementalist. Also. Guys, that is it. I want to make this as sweet and short as possible. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, okay? I will try to make a lot more guides. And uh, if you like it, subscribe to, subscribe, to the, subscribe to the tubes. Go hit me up on Twitch. And yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.